Hey, are you trying to decide between Langchain and Hugging Face for your next AI or NLP project? Both platforms are a powerful tool for building AI-driven application, but they cater to slightly different needs and workflows. In this video, we will break down the key difference between Langchain and Hugging Face, compare their features, and help you determine which one is a best fit for your use case. Right, now let's start by breaking down here. So let's talk about Langchain. Langchain is a framework designed to simplify the development of AI application powered by large language model. It provides tools for chaining together components like prompts, model, and data sources to create complex workflows, right? And there's a lot of things which I can show you, which is pretty much Langchain standout. There's a modular architect, there's a prompt engineering, you can integrate with external data, you can use case flexibility and there's a lot right it's open source and actively maintained by growing community by the way yeah yeah it's open source designed for developers who want fine grain control over their ai pipelines now let's turn our attention to the hugging face hugging face is a leading platform for ai and nlp known for its vast library of free train model and user-friendly tools here what makes hugging face a go-to choice for more developers you can pre-train models, you can transform library, there's a spaces, uh, right? There's a community support and it's literally beginner friendly with extensive documentation and tutorials. Perfect for prototyping and experimenting with cutting edge models. So side by side, side by side, if you compare, you know, we have covered the basics. Now let's compare Langchain and Hugging Face across several dimension. Let's talk about the purpose and focus. And by the way, for those people who are completely new, you can just go and click on the three dots here and you can just go to the bottom and let's go and click on sign up. It's completely free. Same goes for here. Let's go to the hugging phase here and you can just go and click on explore app or you can simply go and click on sign up, right? And uh, you can just go to the website. There's a lot more features. So let's just go and click on, I will use my Google account to sign in into Langchain here. Now you can see here in Langchain, you can just pretty easily, you can get it in, you will get the, you can generate API code, right? And you can integrate the Langchain here. On the other hand, on the hugging phase, you just need to create your complete. And here, let's go and click on explore all the AI application. So both the platform, it's really very easy to use. And, you know, Langchain is designed for building end-to-end -end AI workflows with custom integration. That's the reason we just get it to uh, integrate it, right? On the other hand, regarding this uh, hugging phase, it's focused on pre-trained models and tools for NLP tasks. For example, if I just go to the image generation, you can see here, right? So I can just go and click on it. This is just an example. Now it's a pre-trained model. I can just uh, upload my image here and I can change all this information and click on generate uh, image. So let's, this is a prompt here, right? And let's see, I upload an image. So here is the image. I can just go and do the changes here. I want uh, in a Ghibli style and click on just generate image. Now it will just take a few uh, seconds of time because obviously there's a, uh, you know, JPU code, which is around 60 seconds. I mean, not 60 seconds, but there's a GPU code which is assigned to a specific user. So in that time only, you can just use it. So here you can see, right? Now it's pretty easy to do this, right? And uh, ease of use, Langchain is pretty much requires more technical expertise, but offers greater flexibility. On the other hand, in the hugging phase, it's beginner friendly. We're ready to use model and intuitive interface, which you just saw. Right, Langchain is highly customizable for complex workflows and unique use cases. Hugging phase is limited customization unless you fine tune or build your own models. Regarding the integration, so once you create an account, you will just get this in the Langchain. You will just go and click on generate API keys here and you can generate it, right? By the way, uh, I will change this API code. <laughs> in just after uh, making this video right i'm not stupid anyway now in the hugging phase uh, there's a limited customization unless you fine tune or build your own models so it's pretty much easy it's better suited for standalone nlp tasks for deploying model device spaces langchain is built for integrating with external system like database and apis now in summary langchain is ideal for developers who need flexibility and integration while hugging phase is excel for the quick prototyping and leveraging pre-trained models and uh, 
if you are following ai and if you're watching some other youtube videos they will usually go towards the hugging face because it's a pre-trained model and you can just go there and create something and you can show the results right on the other hand langchain you just need to be a proper geek so use langchain if you're building a custom ai application that integrates with multiple system your project requires a chaining together prompts models and external data sources you need fine grain control over your workflow and outputs using hugging face if you are experimenting with pre-trained models for common nlp tasks you want to quickly prototype and deploy an ai powered app you're looking for a beginner friendly platform with extensive community support ultimately the choice depends on your goals technical expertise and complexities of your projects by the way if you're interested more just let me know i will make a separate video explaining each and everything in hugging face as well as in the line chain and if you want please let me know in the comment section this is it. I hope you found this video very useful. Subscribe.